today! That's right, family, we will be combining DPOI David Robinson alongside my flow motion offense and the bad boy defense on RTTP today. And uh, to last week's, uh, sorry, last time's pack opening winner, his name is Jumro Johnson Exibia. Alright, Johnson, Mr. Exibia, please contact me on Twitter at SamFam28. You are the lucky winner of my sister's amazing pack luck of Gary Payton and such. Alright, so without further delay, let's get into today's gameplay. We will be using David Robinson along the side of Fantastic Tan. As you can see, I have made the team huge now. We got AD at power forward, David Robinson in center, and surrounding them are three elite shooters. Make sure you do surround your flow motion offense with three elite shooters and two bigs. You need three shooters on the outside. Alright, so here we go. We're down for nothing because it's my first time running it. This guy likes to press and press. Gets killed by flow motion. All you gotta do is dump it into the post and flush the post entry passer. Easy basket. And as the game goes on, you can see there's always a post entry option in the flow offense, so you always flush after your entry. If there's nothing, rotate back to your middle pick and roll with the spacing, it's still very deadly. You just gotta stay patient. You need to understand with this offense, you're constantly trying to feed it to the center and the power forward's hands, and you're gonna hurt the paint. As you can see, the bad boy defense, tons of turnovers already. And I need to mention, I'm also in half court press, so that makes it way worse. Once again, the center gets the ball, we get into the paint. The wings don't do much, it's constant entry passes to your big man side to side, and you get to work. Always flush the entry passer if you can. And the bad boy defense failed me here because I should have not went on ball. I should have ran back with Anthony Davis. I just want to show you guys that because you need to make sure you run back with your center. Sometimes I forget and I pay for it. So we're still in flow and he's trying to trap here. So remember, they try to trap, hand off, hand off, beats traps. And because of the spacing, we can go high low back to the other bit. So a flow motion 3-2 spacing is excellent against any kind of trap and press because there's always a guy inside for the easy pass. Here this time a ran back of AD, so the defense was great. Protect the paint, play physical defense, challenge every shot, crash defensive glass POE, all working together. And here he's still trying to press, but like I said, because we're in flow motion spacing, there's two big mans on each block. If they press, they most likely will have to pay for it if you get away from them. So that's a very, very big plus of the flow motion. Here, another entry pass. Entry pass leads to flush, flush and finish. Always remember, if you entry pass to the post in flow motion from the wing, always flush. And here we run a middle flush, nothing but a six sucks in his defense. That's why you need free shooters, family. The middle flush in the flow motion will suck in the wing help defenders. You'll get wing freeze. Here we return back. That's why you run back with the center. Get that out of here. Always run back with the center, family. And to close the quarter out, 15-11 right now. We're doing okay. Not lockdown defense, like I said. I started to do the half court press later. And that really got to him. But still, high pick and roll still work. Easy baskets. And here you want inbound plays, family. Just run to the inbound, pass it, cut back. Easy layup. So here I've began to uh, trigger the half court press. I started it easy steal because half court press, if they try to throw it up to do the transition cheese on you, that's not gonna fly. And remember, we still got the Phoenix playbook here. So even though we're in flow, we're gonna run a few money plays just to throw them off. The double tiger worked great. Corner free ball, a two ball. Bang, I wish Paul George would stay outside. At this point, the game is slowly slipping away from him. And here we got another offensive, a defensive rebound. And what you want to do is always push the ball in flow motion to the wing. If you don't get anything, run a pick and fade from the wing. Send the other guy to the corner. Drive it in. High low. This is deadly. This is very, very deadly. Push the ball to the wing. Pick and fade on the wing. And then try to get a high low in. So here he tries to trap me. I just give it back to the inbounder, nice and easy. We do a middle flush again. Sucks in the defense, opens up the wing. We go to our first postman, expecting the dive. We go for a high low, bang. It's not spaced out, but it's still very good. You just gonna manipulate the free two spacing correctly and you'll be fine. So we flush the middle guy again. We get into a high low stance. You go high low, you finish in the post. So always remember, in the flow motion, I'm not really running the branches in this game because I want to see how it behaves in freelance. Always get your picks into the post, high, low, if the isolation post up is good, if you got a mismatch, finish. But the key is to get it to the picks, get them into the paint, either high, low, or post up, or find your shooters. 
Remember to flush a lot, flush on the entry pass, flush in the middle, and here you can see the bad boy defense is locking this up. We make every rotation, we got a crash defensive glass on, grabs that rebound, we leak to the wing, remember we push it to the wing, we push it to the wing in flow motion and we get a miss. If nothing, we run a pick and fade on the wing, and it back to the fader, we see a mismatch, we go high-low, bang, they're obviously too tall for Russell Westbrook. That's what you're gonna do, family. Mismatches, high lows all day long, and obviously bad boy defense with the half court press. Get that out of here. Run back with your center, turn on that half court press, be merciless in the bad boy defense. Once again, center gets into the paint, we chuck it to the cutter this time, still kind of like a modified high low to the cutter. Still works great, 33 to 15, he hasn't scored in ages. Bad boy defense, merciless. Rotate on ball, rotate off ball, get that out of here. 33 to 15. First half is over with more than doubling him with the flow and the bad boy defense. And you can see the stats in detail here. We are getting him to shoot 25%, all right? We're shooting 71%, but once again, the weakness of the flow motion, not a lot of frees. So I only got three of them and I've only two are open looks. So make sure you call a rip six, uh, sorry, the pick six for the three point plays in flow motion if you want some free balls. And yep, he tapped. David Robinson, flow motion, bad boy defense, a raging success initially. This is actually my first game with it, and as always, the defensive settings that you guys love. So yes, this was my first game with it. I have more gameplay coming, uh, so those are better. And this one was good too, this was great, but it was my first time using this. So I, I was, as you saw, I wasn't really using any of the branches. I just wanted to see what it behaves like in freelance. I started the half court press, I think, late in the first quarter. In the entire second quarter for sure. So make sure you do turn on the half court press if you want really, really physical defense. See how the guy plays. I usually don't start off in half court press because I want to throw the guy off. So start off regularly and then go in the half court press quickly if you want or never if it, you don't need it, right? But I suggest turn on the half court press or start it. Punch him in the mouth right away. Whatever you desire. But as you can see, flow motion power ball, bad boy defense, ruthless. This kind of offensive defense is actually even better, I think for like a full game. RTT Bay games are very short by nature. So it's a rush, it's a run, it's a sprint. But if you put this in like a real game, 48 minutes like that, that's pretty gritty and grindy and hard to beat. All right, so if you got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to enter the contest for the next pack opening, just leave a comment. The next pack is also just as good. I don't know what happened that night. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was amazing. So. That's it. Uh, watch out for another tutorial probably coming next tomorrow soon. Or maybe another pack opening. Probably tutorial. I like to do tutorials in the weekend and pack openings in the weekday. So that's it. As always, thanks for coming by. Have a good weekend, family. I will see all of you next time.